A very good evening to you and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Dwayne Burbick. The Scotia Group is to get a new CEO come November 1. Current CEO Jacqueline Sharp is to demit office on October 31. Ms. Sharp, who has been at Scotia for the past 20 years, is leaving to join her family business. She is to be replaced by David Noel, who has been appointed to be the head of the Caribbean Central and North regions. Mr. Noel is currently the deputy CEO of the Scotia Group and has been with the company for the past 16 years. The U.S. dollar is now costing an average $129.41 to purchase. The Canadian dollar is selling for $105.16. The pound sterling costs $165.78 while the euro is going for $155.95. The price of oil rose by $1.37 today, or almost 3%, to close at $48.66. That is the highest finish for oil in three weeks. The Victoria Mutual Group has taken the step to preserve its existence as a mutual member-owned organization. The step was taken at its recent annual general meeting, in which the company also adopted new rules to growth, Dashan Hendricks reports. There is no immediate threat for demutualization of the Victoria Mutual Group, but the company is aware it can happen. Like other mutuals, we can become a target for acquisition by predators. And it has happened before in the UK and in other Commonwealth countries that many have demutualized and converted into companies. And for some it has worked, for others it hasn't. And it's such demutualization, that is the conversion of the company from a member-owned organization, often comes through a hostile takeover. A flood of non-members join the mutual building society to share in any cash distribution or equity shares given to the members, and they join just before, simply for the purpose of profiteering from the transaction. That displaces the members who have been with the mutual society for many years. Victoria Mutual wants to protect its members from such a situation and has proposed new rules to make such a takeover very difficult to achieve. Having get that out of the way, the company is now focused on growth and modernization. To that end, it has adopted new rules. We wish to expand the range of products and services offered by BMBS. You have asked for credit cards. You have asked for education loans, for auto loans, for other personal loans. The current rules do not allow us to grant those loans. And so rules 4, rules four and rule 24.2 uh, would need are applicable for that um, expansion in the range of products and services. Despite taking those steps, the VM CEO says the company does not have any plans in the short or medium term to convert to a commercial bank. For the Business Day, I am Dashan Hendricks. Stock trading ended today with the main JSC index up 2,978 points, while the junior market index declined by 43 points. Stocks posting gains today included Access Financial, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Jamaica Brawlers, Main Event Entertainment, Panjam, the Scotia Group, and T Tech. Those posting losses included AMG Packaging and Paper, Carreras, Jamaica Producers, Nutsford Express, the NCB Financial Group, Radio Jamaica, and Supreme Ventures. And that's your business day. I'm Dwayne Burbick. Good evening. Business